Okay, so now let's do another mechanism problem. So what we are doing is determining a rate law that is consistent with this mechanism. And we have a reaction 2A plus F goes to C. And the proposed mechanism has A reacting with A with rate constant K1 going to B, and that's a slow step. And in step two, we have B plus F with rate constant K2 going to C as our final product. So we want to figure out the rate law that's consistent with this mechanism. So the first thing to notice here is that the first step is slow. So this is a mechanism with a slow first step. And that means that this step is the rate determining step or the rate limiting step. So the kinetics of the reaction cannot go any faster than that slow step. So whenever you have a mechanism where the first step is slow, it's actually quite easy to derive the rate law for that mechanism. So let's go to the slow step and let's write the rate law by inspection. We can do that because it's an elementary step. So if we write rate is equal to K1, K sub 1, that's the rate constant for the first step, and we have A reacting with A, so we're going to have A squared. It could also be, you could also write it this way, but usually we just put them together. All right, now that is the rate law for the slow step. The slow step determines the kinetics for the entire reaction, so that means we are done. And this is the rate law that corresponds with this mechanism that has a slow first step. So just keep that in mind. Anytime you see a mechanism with a slow first step, you can write the rate law by inspection for that step, and that's the rate law that is consistent with the mechanism.